Hi, I'm redoing my what I watched in July video and my Boy Meets World review because I was really tired when I made them and I forgot a movie and I forgot, it's really like I shouldn't have forgotten it. And then I forgot to mention Mr. Feeny in the Boy Meets World <laughs> review, which I don't even understand how that happened. So I'm not going to. I was. I'm not gonna get all the movies. Because I'm just not. <laughs> I watched 29 films um, in July. Um, so, and I watched, let's one. <laughs> uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, nine new to me films. So I'm going to talk about them first. The first is Spider Man Into the Spider Verse, which is a really good film. I recommend it highly. Um, and then I watched The Spy Who Dumped Me, which was really fun. Stranger Than Fiction, which was really great. Will Ferrell was great in that movie. Um, Some Kind of Wonderful was amazing. Like, I. I think it's the best John Hughes film. Is it a John Hughes film? I don't know. I think so. <laughs> but anyway, it's uh, it's it was probably the best one from that kind of genre. It was so good. Um, Mary Poppins Returns. Michael doesn't have red hair. Um, that was really a miscast, per se, I think. And uh. The songs and the music I didn't really care for, honestly, but um, that was fun. Dick Van Dyke was in it, and he played the character that he played in Mary Poppins, the old banker guy, <laughs> and he was much closer to his age now, so it's just, it just, it was fun to see him. Um, Ralph Breaks the Internet, it was just okay. Silent, which was cute. And The Princess Comes Across, which I own it, but it's new to me, so I'm putting it in the new to me. Um, I wanted to see it. It has Carol Lambert and um, Fred McMurray, which I do. Mac, I think it's Mac Murray. Oh. Um, I've been wanting to see, you know, more uh, movies with different classic stars in them, and I lo I've been wanting to see movies with both of them, so that was good. But I actually wanted to see it because William Frawley from I Love Lucy is in it, so that's why I wanted to see it because I love him. And then The Snake Pit with Olivia de Havilland, and that's amazing. You need to see it, it's so good. Okay, on to what I own oh, um, Cinderella. I watched Willy Wonka. I watched it at the beginning of July, and I was watching it thinking, um, Willy Wonka and the parents are gone, all the adults are gone now, so it's just the kids, so that which are adults now, obviously. And then Denny Snickerson, who played Violet, passed away about the end of, towards the, the end or middle of July, so I was like, really? <laughs> um, next is Center Stage, which is... One of my most watched films of all time. Um, I just love it so much. Um, then The Sandlot I watch on July 4th because there is a July 4th of July scene in the movie. Homeward Bound and Homeward Bound 2. They had different uh, animals in both. Um, they got a new shadow because the voice actor and the dog died the same year. Uh, the cat and dog who played Chance and and sassy were different in the second one. I don't know if <laughs> something happened to them too. I don't think anything would have happened to the chance dog because I think he was still a puppy in the first one. So, oh, maybe they're just going to get them back. Um, the Goonies, oh, so good. <laughs> Five Feet Apart, Great Gardens. I realized I watched it in June as well. Uh, but I love uh, no, Grey Garden is 2009, okay, see, huh, pay attention, <laughs> but, um, yeah, 
uh, Grey Gardens from 2009, 2009 movie with Drew Barrymore and uh, Jessica Lange is amazing. Um, the Muppet movie could happen to you. Harold and Maude, my third favorite movie of all time. Um, Hansel and Gretel is my childhood favorite. My favorite movie in preschool. Um, and then I turned five, and the Baby Heroes Club was my favorite movie of all time. Um, but Hansel and Gretel still really good. I love it. Um, next, No Reservations. I need to watch it more. I really need to. Um, then, um, uh, Apollo 13, which, um, I saw it when I was seven <laughs> with my dad and my cousin and my mom. Um, my cousin was, like, really little. She was too young to even be in that movie. Uh, she was a baby, but, um... We were supposed to see Pocahontas, but my dad is always late to everything, so we missed the movie. But Apollo 13 was, 13 was playing, so we saw that instead. And I loved it. Um, then I saw Kiki's Delivery Service. This is the one I forgot. They saw it on the big screen. So I don't even understand how I forgot it in the first place. But it's one of my favorite movies. It's 30 years old. I didn't realize it was that old. Um, and it's so cute. And I'm seeing Totoro at the end of this month. And I'm also seeing Little Mermaid on the big screen at the end of this month. And I'm just so excited. Because um, both films are like my lifeline. <laughs> you have no idea how much those films mean to me. And I'm so excited. Um... Leave No Chase is a beautiful film. Everybody needs to see it. Um, is that all of it now? Just double checking that I got it all. Um, yes. So next, I'm gonna do Boy Meets World recap 